trying to remember, but everything is a blank. Maybe I, I just need a little more time. I'm feeling cold again. I remember having the gun and not wanting to be there. Somebody was watching us. What did he look like? I don't know. It was too dark. I tried looking up in the catwalk, but it was too dark. I, I, I was frightened because we were going to die. Been here before. Haven't I? Have you? Smear. It's a two-way mirror. You've been watching me, haven't you? I trusted you. Look, Gina, I had to be sure, okay? I couldn't take a chance. You thought I was lying? It had to be done, right? I don't want to stay here anymore. I feel like some kind of freak on display. Like, don't worry about it. I'm going to take you somewhere else anyway for the sake of security. I've already picked out a place. Security from what? Does this have anything to do with that person in the boathouse? He can't get to you. We're going to make sure you're safe. No more tricks, no more mirrors. No more tricks. All right, I'll go get my things. Well, that got us nowhere. Well, at least she remembers more than she did at the boathouse. Yeah, if you say so. Now, I want you to keep your end of the deal. All right. And don't tell anyone where you'll be. Not even you? Oh, you're not going to be that lucky, pal. If you sneeze, I'll know about it. Sounds like fun. I'm sorry if I came down on you hard, hard before. I should go to the restaurant and tell them where I'm going to be. I'll be right back. Be careful. Always. Listen, for what it's worth, I think we're going to get closer, you know. If she's willing to let herself get her memory back this far, chances are it'll come back all the way. At least far enough to nail Kirk, anyway. In a way, I'm kind of sorry. You're sorry? Miss working with you. Miss fighting with you. We can always do a few rounds for <laughs> old times' sake anytime you want. Thanks. Uh, well, you'll let me know. Yeah. Even, um, please don't take any more risks. I won't. any problems I'm sure my father can handle. Don't worry, everything will be just fine. No, I'm sure everything will be in good hands with you. Thank you. You're welcome. We need to talk. Uh, do you excuse us, please? Certainly. What is it, Santana? You tell me. Are you okay? Oh, I feel great now, no thanks to you. What have I done? You? You have always had everything you've wanted, haven't you? A big house. Big Daddy taking care of every whim. Well, that wasn't enough now, was it? You couldn't stop. You couldn't help yourself, could you? I don't know what oh, you're talking Eden, about. Oh, Eden, it's the oldest game in town. I know about your crew. I don't understand what you're talking about. I know what I heard this morning at the cabana. You were in each other's arms. You were making love to my husband. Santana. Your marriage didn't work, so you made sure cruises didn't either. You destroyed our marriage. Santana, why don't you just let me talk to you? It's not Santana. What it is. Are you all right? What's going on? Eden. Santana, what is it? Kirk, just, just leave us alone. No, I will not leave you alone. She's upset. What did you say to her? Kirk, please, if you don't leave, I will. What did you do to All her? All right, I'll leave. What did she say to you? She never even bothered to deny it. Then she knows that you heard them. I'm sorry. I tried to ignore her, but I just kept hearing them. I just kept seeing them together. Uh, that, that, that's okay. D does she know that I was the one that clued you in? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly what I said. 
She must have known from the way that she looked at me. That was obvious. What can I do? I don't know. But now that they know, anything could happen. I guess it's up to Cruz and Eden. Yeah, well, be it ever so humble. What? I know it's not as elegant as the hotel, but I think it's safer. Whoever tried to kill you is not going to think to look down here. I just have one question. Bathroom's over there. How did you know? Very good, Inspector. Well, I guess I'll go check out the brass fixtures and the marble. More like porcelain and stainless steel, I'm afraid. That's all right, Jim. Let her come down. What? I'm sorry. I you told talk me you to were you. leaving town. What are you? Uh, you promised me you need a police escort. Look, something came up. Something very important. Okay. Santana knows about the cabana. What? She cornered me at the restaurant. She was very upset. She was crying. She thinks that we're having an affair. Oh no. I tried to tell her the truth. Honestly, I did. But Kirk was there. I can't believe this has happened. Do you think Kirk was the one that brought her out there? That tape, that stupid, phony tape. I knew from the beginning it was an idiotic idea, but I went along with it. I... She's more upset than I've ever seen her. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, too. My wife feels like a complete fool, and she has us to thank for it. I didn't mean to hurt her. I better get over there and try to explain this. Well, maybe I can come with you. No, I think this is between friends. Santana and me, Eden. You've done plenty, thanks. Bruce? Yeah, something happened. girlfriend must have come running straight to you. If you mean Eden, yes, she's upset and so am I. Who adultery does that? There's been no adultery. I have never cheated on you. I know what I heard. I was outside the cabana. Kirk took you there, didn't he? Yeah, he suspected you, Eden. That's why he planted the bug. Well, he has reason to be worried, but not about us. You see, what you heard wasn't for real. It was on tape. Eden and I made a tape to try to make it sound like we were having an affair, and unfortunately, that's what you heard. You expect me to believe that? Yes, I do, because it's the truth. Listen to me. We think Kirk is the one who tried to murder Eden at the boathouse. Kirk? Yeah, and we thought if we could make him jealous enough, he'd try again, maybe, and we could nail him. Does Eden think it was Kirk? Yes, she does. Or maybe she's just saying that so she can get close to you. That's not it. Listen to me. There are other things that point to Kirk. But what's important here and now is that you believe me when I tell you I have never been unfaithful to you. I made a vow to honor you. You think I'd break that vow? Is that that kind of man you think I am? Are you going to make, make more of those tapes with Eden? No, that's over. It was a stupid idea to begin with. And we have another way to get to the truth now. Will you tell me how? Through Gina. But you can't let Kirk know that we're after him. You, you can't let him know that what he heard at the cabana was a, was a phony. He's got to go on believing that it's on the level, that Eden and I are indeed having an affair. Sometimes I've got to ask you to keep what you know to yourself for the time being. If you don't, it could ruin literally months of very hard work. You want me to help you and Eden? You give me one good reason why you tell me. Going somewhere, Eden? It all sounds so incredible. Kirk, a killer? Well, just so you know, 
I've never lied to you, and I'm not about to start now. There was no affair. I know what I heard. I told you it was a tape made for Kirk. I want to believe you. Then do. It's the truth. I was so afraid that I'd lost you. The tape was a dangerous idea in more ways than one. You just told me. I will never give you reason to doubt me again. You have my word. I believe you. You know I'd never deliberately hurt you. Never. I'm leaving. I'm going to be late. Oh, really? For what? A plane? A romantic odyssey on a train or something like that? What is Cruz plan for the two of you this time, huh? I don't think I really need to discuss this with you. Oh, no, of course not. I'm just your husband. I've hurt you. That's why I'm leaving. My considerate wife. What am I supposed to tell Cece? I left him a note explaining everything. Well, what am I supposed to tell everyone else when word gets out that my wife has left me? I'm sorry, Kirk. You're sorry? Oh, well, I can handle it much better now, thank you. But you know what I cannot handle is you sleeping with Cruz. You making love to Cruz. Is he really that good? Is it really worth all the pain that you've caused me and Santana? You know, I think we're alone here. I don't recall seeing any other cars out front when I drove up, you know? It's just us. Check it out of my way. Mm -hmm. No, you are not leaving. I don't give a damn what you want to do. I loved you so much. I took care of you. And for what? For him? It is not over between us. I am not going to let it be over. I did not recover from a heart operation just so you could leave me. That's not going to happen. Do you understand that? It is not going to happen. Ah. Ah. Oh. No, wait. Wait. Eden. It's not going to happen. I love you! You're mine! Look, you yourself said that I shouldn't let him suspect that I'm on to him. Now, if I just keep avoiding him, that's exactly what he'll do. I hate this. You and Eden were the ones who started this. Now, all I have to do is just go along with it. I know. I just wish there was some other way. Well, you've really gone too far with this to turn back now. Don't worry. I'll just go on pretending that you and Eden are still having an affair, and I'll just play the wounded wife. I'm just so glad that it's not true. I'm going to have this over and done with as soon as I can. Hey, Jen. Hi. Are you about ready to go, sweetheart? Yeah. Have fun with Rosa. I will. I always do. Yeah, I always did when I was your age, too. <laughs> Don't be down too long. talk to you about something. What is this all about? Well, I don't know what to say. It's your wife, man. She's leaving town. I'm supposed to ask Cruz for an explanation? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Look, every marriage has its problems. My only mistake was in thinking that Eden and I were immune. You're not really going to try to pass this off as some kind of minor family squabble. I'm saying it's minor, Cece. I'm just saying we'll work our way through it. I, you know, Eden, when she gets angry, she takes off and she goes someplace. When she cools down, she'll come back and we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. And how does Cruz fit in? Why did Eden want me to contact him? That I can't tell you. Can't or won't. I honestly don't know what he has to do with this. All right, Kurt. If I can't find out from you, I'll get Cruz here and find out from him. Where did you come from? Uh, I just came from dropping Brad enough to see Mama. What's going on? Eden wrote some damn note to Cece saying that she left town and to ask Cruz why. Can you believe she did that? Well, then Cruz will let him know about the affair. He will? Yes, of course. He's not going to lie to Cece if Cece asks him openly. Well, what did Cruz say when you confronted him? I mean, you, you told him that you knew, right? He couldn't even deny it. He didn't even try. 
We are going to stay together for Brandon's sake, though. Oh. Well, I think that's that's best. Uh, I, I, that must be very difficult for you. Yeah, it is. Well, if you ever need to talk. Thanks. I have to get going. I'll see you. No, no, forget the hypnotist. I'd rather talk to Eden again and try to jog my memory that way. Oh, I'd love to accommodate you, Jeannie, but it's not possible right now since Eden is out of town. Hello. Hi, uh, Cruz, it's me. I just wanted to let you know that Pete's going to be looking for you. Hold on a second. Garth, will you take Mrs. Capwell upstairs for the time being? I want to take this call in private. What's this about Cece? Eden left a note saying that he should ask you why she left town. Now Cece thinks that you and Eden are having an affair. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to set him straight then. Well, are you going to tell him everything about Kirk and everything? Yeah, I think it's time Mr. Senior the truth about his son-in-law anyway. Do you think he'll believe you? Find out soon enough. I'll be there. Thanks, Santana. Nice getting to know you. Bye-bye.